Google Domains is dead. In June of this year, Squarespace announced plans to acquire all existing customer domains, and when the transfer process is complete, Google Domains will be officially shut down. I guess Google Domains is the latest product to end up on killedbygoogle.com. Google and Squarespace have already reached an agreement for the deal, but as of now, there's no set closing date. This is because Google is seeking regulatory approval, but unless the government objects, the deal is going to happen. So what does this mean for you? Well, if you have domains registered at Google Domains and you choose to not transfer them out before the deal closes, they will automatically be transferred to Squarespace and you will become a Squarespace customer. Squarespace says it will honor Google Domains renewal prices for at least 12 months after the deal closes, so you can expect to get a one-year renewal at the current price, but theoretically you could renew for multiple years as long as you do it within the first 12 months. And in case you're wondering, domains from Squarespace are not cheap. Prices start at $20 a year for .com, .net, and .org TLDs, and prices go up from there. Website builders and web hosts like Squarespace, Wix, and Bluehost have never been known for selling price competitive domains, and that's because they don't have to. They're selling these domains as a convenience item for customers who want to easily connect their Squarespace website to a domain and not think about it. They don't have to worry about DNS or name servers, and these concepts can trip up beginners. It's kind of like buying the over price concessions at the movie theater. You know you can get that candy cheaper somewhere else, but you're already there, you're already in line, it's convenient, and you're willing to pay for it. And I've always said that for customers who want the convenience of renewing their domain and their website builder in the same place, there's nothing wrong with paying a premium for a domain from Squarespace or Wix as long as you realize that you are paying a premium for the convenience. But it is convenient. You can just connect it right to your website with no technical knowledge required. But what's particularly puzzling about this Squarespace acquisition is the fact that they're about to get a ton of customer accounts from users who don't have a Squarespace website. So what are they trying to do here? Do they expect that all these people are just gonna migrate their website to Squarespace? Or do they just legitimately wanna overcharge people for domains? I honestly don't know what their play is here, but I can only imagine that they see themselves as a legitimate competitor in the domain industry and they wanna compete with GoDaddy and other major registrars. So that brings us to what the experience will be like after the merger happens. Suppose you're willing to keep your domains at Squarespace and pay the inflated prices. How do the features compare to Google Domains? Squarespace lets you easily connect your domain to Google Workspace, but that's pretty much where the similarities end. The Squarespace dashboard is simple, but there's no easy connections to common platforms like Wix or Shopify like you'd find at Google Domains. You can of course easily connect your domain with your Squarespace website, but for any other platforms, you're gonna have to change the name servers. You can do this in the advanced settings section of the panel, and it's not difficult to do, but it's an extra step. I wanna emphasize that this is normal for domain management at any registrar. If you're gonna buy a domain from anywhere, you typically have to enter the name servers from your web host or website builder. But that's what made Google Domains so special. Google Domains was special enough that I would sometimes recommend people pay that slight premium to have their domain there. But now that Google Domains customers soon may be paying $20 a year for a .com domain anyway, there's no reason to keep it at Squarespace, unless your website is at Squarespace. You'd be better off paying it to Shopify or Wix or whoever your website builder is so you can conveniently connect your domain to your website. Just like you can conveniently hit that subscribe button and it doesn't cost $20 a year, it's free. So it's clear that Squarespace is not comparable to Google Domains, and unless you have a Squarespace website, I don't think it makes any sense to keep your domains there. But what alternatives exist to Google Domains? Hover is the closest alternative to Google Domains that I've found. It's a straightforward registrar with easy connections to common website builders. Unfortunately, they don't support Wix, but for most other popular website builders, you can connect your domain with just a few clicks. Hover does charge $5 a year for email forwarding if you use their servers, and this is something Google Domains offered for free. Just based on the easy integrations alone, it would make a lot of sense to recommend Hover for all Google Domains customers until you look at the pricing. A .com domain is $17 a year to renew, and that's $5 a year more than Google Domains, and only $3 a year cheaper than Squarespace. But at least you get the freedom to easily connect your domain to common platforms and are not overpaying for your domain at Squarespace. I was on a mission to find a more affordable option, and I came across a new registrar called Spaceship. 
It's actually a Namecheap startup, and I was really intrigued by how simple and approachable their website was. Then I discovered the pricing, $8.98 a year for a .com domain? And yes, that's the renewal price. That's literally cheaper than the wholesale price, so Spaceship is losing money on every renewal. I'm expecting prices to creep up over time as Spaceship establishes their customer base, but it could creep up by a few dollars and still be cheaper than Google domains. The registration process was very straightforward, but things kind of fell apart after that. The dashboard does not make it easy to connect your website to third-party platforms, and while they do have this connection manager that makes it super easy to connect your domain to other spaceship products like their web hosting, they don't support any third-party platforms. And when I reached out to Spaceship to ask if they had any plans to add third-party integrations, they said they couldn't share any information at this time, and it sounds like they're not planning on adding that. To connect your domain to a third-party platform, you'd have to change your name server and they bury this setting in the panel. I think it's more difficult to find than the average registrar. So Spaceship is a great option for the absolute cheapest domains on the internet, but it's still not a great replacement for Google domains as far as features. I ended my quest for a Google domains alternative at Porkbun. I've said before that Porkbun is my personal favorite registrar, but it's not for everyone. They are price competitive, and a .com renewal is less than $10 a year. My biggest issue with Porkbun is that their panel is not the easiest to navigate. It's kind of a sea of drop downs and switches, and I just don't think it's approachable for most beginners. However, there is one thing I really respect about the Porkbun panel. In the DNS settings, they have templates to easily connect your website to common platforms like Google Workspace, Squarespace, and Shopify. And as confusing as the panel can be, I don't think it's that hard to get to this DNS screen. You can also utilize free email forwarding on up to 20 emails. I never thought I would say it, but Porkbun actually seems like a great alternative to Google Domains. It's a high quality registrar with helpful customer service and you'll save some money coming from Google Domains. In the end, Hover is the best alternative to Google Domains as far as features and ease of use, but you'll sacrifice on the free email forwarding and the prices are just so expensive. Spaceship is a promising up and coming registrar to keep an eye on, but I think it's a little early to recommend them. Their panel is a hot mess and I really like the concept of what they're doing, but until they add third party integrations or at least make it easier to change the name servers of your domain, I just don't think I can recommend them. And Porkbun is going to provide the best value with similar features to Google Domains as long as you can get past the slightly cluttered panel. Hover, Spaceship, and Porkbun are all competitive options that are similar to Google Domains, but other registrars are out there that may potentially work for your needs as well. I have a video on all these other registrars that you can check out here.